holiday appropriate news. Yes, NASA man is on the surface of the moon with a very unique view from our news of from space. That's right. News from space. Okay, I got a great glimpse of the Earth rise from the lunar surface out oh. there. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. There it is, right there. There's, there's our. That is cool. You are here. You are here. And speaking of the Earth rise, the Smithsonian is dusting off a rarely seen piece of NASA history for public display. This is really cool. The spacesuit Neil Armstrong wore in the Apollo 11 mission will be shown off this summer at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum. The fragile spacesuit suit has not been seen in public for 13 years. The Smithsonian has built a state of the art display case and mannequin to protect the artifact. It goes on display July 16th. That's exactly 50 years to the day that Armstrong and uh, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins were launched into space for the first manned lunar landing. Cool. That is very cool. That's very cool. Well, it's easy to imagine a world where rain falls, pools, and the words have to be on the screen for me to read them. Okay, uh, seeps into the ground, evaporates, and then falls all over again. But what, instead of water, what if the rain was liquid methane? Whoa! The two new studies published from NASA show an eerily familiar waterless oh, cycle happening on Earth's, on uh, Saturn's moon Titan. The scientists used data collected from the Cassini mission when the spacecraft flew by the massive moon more than 100 times. The observations showed researchers their first glimpse of liquid currently in the land landscape rather than traces being left behind. Titan's the only world outside of Earth where we spotted bodies of liquid on the surface. Some of them apparently are over 300 feet deep, which well, that was really big news too. They didn't realize they were that deep. Hmm. Well, after a year of searching, the uh, Transitioning Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, has found an Earth-sized planet. The planet was spotted near where scientists call a, a weird sub-Neptune world. It's circling the star HD 21749. BR549, <laughs> about 53 light years from Earth. This exoplanet is about 23 times heftier uh, than Earth and a little more than two and a half times wider than our home world. That suggests the planet's probably gaseous rather than rocky. Why are you looking at me? Oof! Or gaseous. You said gas. Maybe it had like a little. The lactose. Yeah. 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 Uh, it is rocky, but not as puffy as its closest comparisons in our neighborhood. <laughs> All right, I claimed it. Claimed. It's mine. It's yours. As long as somebody claims it, you know, that's how it works. All right, a Chinese company is giving students the chance to experience life on Mars without ever leaving planet Earth. Sea space. Of the Red Planet in the Gobi Desert. Oh, that's the site cool. covers 67 square kilometers and has wow. nine interconnected modules, including a control room, a greenhouse, and an airlock. Right now, it's an educational facility, but Sea Space uh, says it plans to open up to tourists next year. That's pretty cool. That that's would be very kind cool. of an interesting vacation. Where'd you guys go? I went to Mars. Oh, hanging out on Mars. Yeah, I'd Mars. check that out. All right. Goodbye from the moon. See you when you get back. Bye. 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 Bye.